Hi, and welcome to the Wine Bar, where I bring you quick, efficient bar workouts as well as wine facts. So today we're gonna to be doing a 10-ish minute full body workout, maybe 15 minutes if we're lucky. Um, and we're going to be using wine bottles for weights. Of course, if you have regular weights at home or water bottles or soup cans or something else that you'd prefer to use, please be my guest, go ahead and use them. I'm gonna be using wine bottles. And today we're gonna to be talking about Chianti. So let's get started. So let's do a little warm up. So we're going to just kind of come into an easy squat, bring our arms overhead, come down, bring our arms overhead. We're just loosening up the spine and the hips and the knees and all of the ligaments that connect everything, right? And now we're gonna be doing some, let's come into some big arm circles, going backwards, loosening up all of the shoulders and all of those areas where we keep tension. And then we're gonna go forwards, right? We're going to just get all of those little creaks and squeaks out. Right, and now we're gonna come into some squats. So they're easy squats. I'm just gonna come out to the right and down, come back up straight, and then come to the other side. So we're just getting a little movement and mobility into our hips. And squats are really great for our hip health. That is one of the reasons that I really enjoy movement is I just want to be able to move when I'm an older person and keeping all of the wheels greased and the joints moving is really important for that. And, you know, if you're a person who really likes, you know, HIIT workouts and Peloton and doing all the really sweaty workouts, which are great, just make sure you throw in some stretching and mobility into the mix so that we don't get everything really tight. All right, last warm up move, we're gonna be doing some back lunges. So we're just coming back, keeping our weight kind of even spread between our back leg and our front leg. Sorry, I had a little piece of plant under my foot. All right, just two more on each side. One and two. All right, so now we're gonna come into our kind of full body moves with the weights. So I'm gonna grab my wine bottles and I'm going to come into the middle of my mat and we're gonna come down into like a suitcase squat and then I'm gonna bring my arms out front. So I'm actually going to come down into a squat, bring my arms out front, and then stand back up. We're coming down, arms out front, stand back up. Suitcase squat, arms out front, and up. So today, I'm using Chianti bottles. So Chianti is a region in Italy, it is not a grape. The grape traditionally found in Chianti is San Giovese, and it is right by Tuscany, right? It's right by Florence, right in the kind of heart of Italy that we always think of for Italian wine, one of the most famous ones. Okay, we're doing this two more times. And up, and suitcase squat, arms out, and up. All right, so now we're gonna come into some side lunges and do some side rolls. So I'm gonna put one of my wine bottles down. And so now I'm gonna come out to one side and then I'm gonna row my arm back and then stand up. So we're gonna just keep doing that on one side and up. So Chianti, like I said, is a region in Italy and you know, they've been making wine in that region since you know the Middle Ages, maybe before that. They have some really cool old vineyards um, and if you've ever been to an Italian restaurant where you have a wine bottle in the middle of a table in a little wicker basket, I feel like everyone knows that Chianti, the little basket, is called a fiasco. And I always thought that was funny that that's what the name of it is. And unless you go to a really, you know, very into Chianti history Italian restaurant, like they're not really used as much anymore. All right, two. And last one on this side. All right, and now we're just gonna switch and go to the other side. So we're gonna come down into the side lunge. We're making sure that our weight is over our foot and evenly distributed. And then we're rowing back 
while we're keeping our abs in nice and tight. So we're rowing and up, down and up, down and up. So one of the most famous Chianti producers is Fontodi. And they have a really picturesque vineyard in the heart of Tuscany. And their wine, their top level wine goes for like hundreds of dollars. Oops, I did it a double row, which I didn't mean to do. So Chianti goes really well with tomatoes because what they say is what grows together goes together. And I would think that all the tomatoes they grow in Italy would go really well with Chianti. Kind of has that nice acidity to it. Um, it's also really good for anything with cream sauces because the acidity is so high, it kind of cleans out your mouth. So we're gonna do this three more times. So three, make sure your abs are in tight. Two, and last one. All right, all right, so we're gonna put the weights down for now and we're gonna come to our bar. So now we're gonna come into first position. We're gonna come up onto our the balls of our feet, click our heels together and come down into our little V shape. And we're gonna just go down and all the way up. So we're doing nice plies with our back straight and neutral and the weight right in the balls of our feet, but the, um, you're just, it's like you're almost against a wall and you're just going up and down straight. Like you don't wanna be leaning forward or leaning back. We just wanna be going up and down a wall. So we're just imagining that. While we're imagining all the yummy Italian food that we're gonna be eating with our Chianti. Whew. So the other wine, which is not Chianti, but it's part of the region, which is Brunello, which is kind of like the big sister to Chianti. Brunello is a different region of Tuscany and they have different restrictions on what they can put into the wine. Um, but it has the same kind of flavor profile. Both are more acidic. The Brunello tends to have a little bit more oak aging. So just something to remember. All right, and now we're gonna come down into our plie and we're just gonna pulse. So I'm trying to think what other interesting Chianti facts. They also have special cows that are in the region that have these very long horns. And so if you go to Tuscany, that will be on like every menu. And they like talking about them because they're kind of cute. And they also eat um, a lot of boar there. And Chianti is, especially in the county region, and it's called, um, Oh, now I'm forgetting the name of the boar. Uh, I just was thinking about it and now I can't remember. Oh, Chingale. So that's what uh, Italian boar is called. And they make, you know, kind of like a, a pate out of it. You can get it in the, like a steak form, anything like that. Okay. And now we're going to come down. So three, two, one. And now we're just going to knock our knees out. So just a little side glute work. And I'm using my booty kicker. So I'm gonna link a description in the box below, but I love this little bar. I feel like I always talk about it in my videos because it really helped me feel like I was doing all the bar moves right when I have this little thing and you can put weight on it. Some of the other bars on the market, you can't really put any weight on. And so I really love this one. I love how they have a little weight rack so that you can offset it and, and things like that. So. If you are looking for something for your home gym, I highly suggest it if you like doing bar workouts. All right, and three, two, one. All right, woo! Top of my thighs are real, real, woo! Real spicy right now. Okay, so now we're gonna come into a little bit of booty work. So this is gonna be booty and oblique work. So I'm gonna come on my left foot. I'm gonna have a nice little bend in my leg. I'm gonna bring my right leg up into a bat ma, and then I'm gonna come into a side crunch, and then I'm gonna lower the leg. So up, side crunch, back and down. Up, side crunch, back and down. Now, if this is too hard, you can always just come into a back bat ma like that, or you can just kinda do a little side crunch if you don't wanna come into the bat ma all the way. So up, side crunch, back and down. Up, side, back and down. 
So Chianti is one of my favorite wines. I love trying all the different ones. They can, because of its popularity, can be a little hard to find under the $15 to $20 price point um, on a retail shelf. But if you can find one you like, usually the growing season in Chianti is generally pretty good. And so usually the vintages are pretty consistent. It doesn't mean they always are. You always have to check, but you usually find wine that you continue to like. All right, four, three, two, and one. All right, give it a little shake and then we'll do the other side. So I'm gonna come down to my little flat back fold over. My knee is slightly bent on the other side. I'm gonna bring my leg up, crunch it in, out and down. Up, crunch, down, up, crunch, back and down. So we're working our glutes, we're working our hamstrings, we're working our obliques, we're working our whole lower body right now. Right, we just wanna make sure that we're not locking out our standing leg, right? Because we don't want it to feel tight when we're doing this. We want it to feel like we're a dancer and we can feel all of the bending and stretching and we're strengthening everything. So three, two, and last one. Shake it out. We're coming into our last little bit. So we're gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna come down into a glute bridge. So we're on our butt. We're gonna lay all the way back. We're gonna have our knees, hips, and feet all in one line. And we're gonna raise up into a glute bridge one vertebrae at a time and then we're gonna come back down. So we're just lifting up and coming back down. Lifting up and down. So we're, again, working the back side of our body and we are also kind of giving our spine a little massage at this point. Glute work is so important because they're such a big muscle group that you can pretty much like always be working them and they're still always gonna be kind of sore because they just do so much work in your body. So five, four, three, two, and last one. All right. So now we're going to be in a dead bug position. So I'm going to bring my arms to the top of my mat and my head, and I'm going to bring my legs up into, actually, I'm going to bring them up above my chest. So, and I have my legs in the tabletop and my abs are in tight. And then I'm going to take one leg and one arm, the opposite, and I'm going to bring them back and forward. So we're in this little dead bug position and we're just kind of letting our abs have the gravity do most of the work here, right? We want to go against the gravity as we're bringing everything back up, right? And then we can always just stay in this position. Um, if we want to just work on our abs, this, we can just, this is a good static hold to do. You can always bring your legs a little forward, but we're going to do them one at a time, right? And we're almost done. Three, two, and one. All right. So now come up onto your sit bones. This is going to be the last one. So we're going to do a static boat pose. So I'm on my sit bones. I'm going to lean a little bit back. I'm going to raise my legs into a tabletop and then I'm going to extend my arms. And we're just going to hold this for about 30 seconds. So kind of our final push here. We want our abs to be a little bit spicy. And then if you really want to challenge yourself, you can come down and extend your legs a little bit more. And you can always put your legs on the floor and just lean back a little bit if you want to do that today. But I'm going to have my legs in a tabletop position. And we're just holding here. We've got about 10 seconds left. You're doing such a good job. I'm so glad you joined me today. Thank you. I really enjoyed moving with you today. I can't wait to see you next week. So hit like and subscribe so you'll know when my videos get posted, usually on Saturdays, once a week. And three, two, one. All right. Such a good job. 
no, no, no. Okay, we gotta cool down. Okay, so, sorry, my little production assistant is helping me, so we just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. All right, so I'm gonna keep my legs out in front of me, and I'm gonna do a little fold over, um, just to stretch out my back and stretch out my hamstrings. I'm not going any crazy folding. I'm just letting it be. I'm just, and my back is kind of straight, and I'm just giving those hamstrings a good, a good stretch. Now I'm going to take my one leg, cross it over my other. I'm going to put my the leg that's bent the hand back, the other hand up, bring it across the knee, and do a little spinal twist. Right, just twist everything out, ring all of your organs out. Look behind you. Every time you exhale, you can get a little deeper. What? All right, now we're gonna come and do the other side. All right, so other side over, across the knee. We're wringing everything out. I really hope you're enjoying the wine facts, getting this little bit of movement in every day. It does your body a world of good. And I'm really so happy that you could join me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.